Welcome everyone to the channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 17 inch MacBook Pro and how to upgrade the memory on it. So here's my MacBook right now with the eight gigabyte memory and I'm going to be upgrading it to 16 gigabytes. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is shut down our Mac. Once it's completely powered off, I'm going to flip it over and then we're going to be opening one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 screws. And all 10 of these screws are Phillips head screws. With all the screws off, you're just going to lift up the cover from here and it's going to come right out of the way. And there's the memory we are going to be upgrading. To take it out, it's pretty simple. There are two tabbings, one here, one there. You're just going to flick each one back and the memory is going to come right up. And then pull it out. Same thing with the bottom one, the tabbing's right underneath. And since the tabbing for the bottom one is underneath the top one, you might have a difficult time pushing them. So you could just grab your screwdriver and just do that. And as we are seeing, these are four gigabytes each and they're 1333 megahertz. Here's my new memory that I'm going to be using. They're eight gigabyte each and they're 1600 megahertz. So it's a lot more memory and the memory is faster as well. And it's pretty easy to install it. It's only gonna go in one way. The smaller side is going to be on this side. The bigger is on this side. And when installing, you wanna make sure you install on the bottom first. So once it's in, just push it in and then push it down and it locks into place. Repeat the step with the top one, align it, push it in and push down and it's locked into place. And now before I close it up, I'm going to flip it over and turn on my MacBook and make sure the new 16 gigabyte memory is completely working. And there you have it. My memory is now upgraded to 16 gigabytes, 16 megahertz DDR3 from the initial 8 gigabyte 1333 megahertz. As of right now, I just don't want to retire this. So the best thing I can do is just keep upgrading it. And with the 16 gigabyte memory, it's on par with the new 2019 and 2020 MacBooks. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy video. And if you guys want to see more videos on this MacBook Pro, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the playlist. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Thank you.